InShot Video Editor is one of the easiest to use video editing apps on the iPhone and Android. And here, look at the rating of this app. 1.4 million ratings at 4.9, and on the Android, 4.8, over 12 million reviews. So in this video, I wanna show you exactly how to use InShot Video Editor to edit videos completely on your phone and completely for free. Now, the way a lot of these apps make money is they have a paid upgrade, but you could completely do everything you need to for free. But if you eventually want to subscribe, that's how they make money with their app. I'm going to show you here on the iPhone, but it's exactly the same on the Android here. If you download it on your Android, let me go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to show you here very step by step on what to do. So if you are creating your own project, follow in these steps. Once you download and install the app, basically the very first step is creating a project. In this case, we want to create a video project, but you could do photo and collages as well. So let's go ahead and press video right here. And then it's gonna show you if you have any drafts, but if it's brand new to you, you don't have any. So you need to press new right on top. Now here, we need to import videos that we want to use in our edit. So you may again have some if you've used it before, but I'm gonna bring some new ones. I'm gonna press the plus sign. And in my iPhone, I do have to give it access. So I'm gonna open up the settings and I need to select some photos here on their InShot and edit selected. Here are the video clips that I give permission to. I'm gonna go ahead and select these. Basically, you need to select because this is gonna show you everything you've ever imported into InShot. But for this project, I only want to select the one, so I'm gonna leave some out of it here and I'm gonna press the check mark. And here we're inside of the editing part of InShot. Basically everything's gonna take place here. Right up here, this is your preview window. Basically this is what your finished video is gonna look like. Here are all the different tools that I'm gonna to mention as we go through the editing project step by step. And down here is your track or your timeline. Basically, this is where a lot of your editing is going to take place. So whatever you're doing here is going to show up in the preview window. Anytime I could go ahead and scrub through here and press play and it's going to go ahead and play that clip. Now these are just some clips I shot here on my iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and use those here for this project. Okay. So let's go back to the very beginning. Wherever this line is basically is where you are in your preview. And right there, I'm in the very beginning of my edit. Okay, so once you import your videos and they're all over here, you could always press the plus sign if you wanted to add more videos and you could also edit with photos in combination to videos, okay? I'm all set with what I needed to bring in. And typically what I like to do next is, I'll come over here to this toolbar. There's lots of different tools here that we're gonna cover, but the first one is called Canvas. Basically, this is your aspect ratio or the size of your video. So this is the very first step I always recommend you do after bringing in your video, because if you're going to Instagram, you should make this square and you see what it's doing to the rest of your video here to fill in. But if you're going to YouTube, 16 by nine, the way this video was shot on my iPhone when I had it the other way, that's how I would want it. If I'm going to TikTok, I need to be vertical. But you see, it's doing a good job filling in the rest here for this to make sense. And there's some other options as well if you know more about what aspect ratios is. Basically, these numbers are aspect ratio. One to one is a good one that is used for Facebook and Instagram. I'm gonna keep it to YouTube the way this video was made. You can also work with the background, right? So if you don't like the automatic background that it makes for you, you can go ahead and change that. That's really, really useful. Again, I'm gonna go back to the 16 by nine right there. Now that I've picked my canvas here, I want to change the clip orders or reorder my clips to tell my story the right way, right? So if I press play, it's gonna play this. This is a pretty good first clip, so maybe I'll leave this as the first clip. But the next clip doesn't make sense. I need to make this the next clip, right? So I need to get this clip out of the way. Well. I just have to reorder it so I could grab it, pick it up, right? This is that clip, pick it up, move it somewhere else. You see that? So I'll move it much later. And then I could just go ahead and click away. And it just changed the order of my clips. So what I recommend you do is basically take whatever clip that you wanna move, press and hold on it. It's gonna show you all your clips. 
and the length of each clip is just really small. This is eight seconds. And then you grab it and you take it somewhere else and put it between clips or take it all the way to the end, for example, okay? Let me go ahead and press play on one. And then it's gonna go from this one to the next one. If the order makes sense, you just could leave it as is. Once you have your story in the order you want, maybe you basically introduce your video here. We're gonna get into text and things like that, title screens later, but let's say the order of how the clips are laid out is exactly what you want. The next step is you need to trim some videos because the little clip may be longer than you want. So to do that, let's go ahead and select this clip right here and you could trim, you see it's gonna give you a little arrow. So you could grab the end of it, let me grab the end, and trim this clip, right? So it's gonna start maybe like here when he's walking, and then I could trim the end too. So I could grab the end, trim it this way. Okay, so that's how you change the beginning and end. Trimming is one of the most useful editing things there are. But sometimes beginning and end is not what you wanna trim. You wanna maybe cut out a section. To do that, you have to split a clip. So go to where you wanna make a cut, press split, it's gonna make a cut, and then go here, I'm gonna cut again, split. Okay, now I can basically select the middle part and then delete. Okay, so that's if you wanted to basically take the middle of a clip out. You could always zoom in at it's telling you to kind of get a closer detail of your timeline as well. Okay, so trimming and splitting clip is gonna be the bulk of what you're going to do to tell your story. That's the majority of what editing is. But after you do all of that, typically, and your story is lined up here, we're going to play with effects and transitions, okay? So let me show you what you could do there. You see these little icons over here? These basically show up at the end of each clip. So if I press on one of them, it's gonna let me apply transitions between the two clips, and there's a whole bunch of different transitions to choose from. For example, these are really, really interesting, kind of dip to black from one side. You have different glitches, so you could you know, use these kind of things. It looks like this is a paid upgrade, but you could play around with these and choose some of the free ones here or get the paid upgrade. The basics, are, honestly, are really cool because some of these basically push from side to side, I use these all the time. Dissolve is actually my favorite probably because it's the most simple and it doesn't call out to itself. Let's press the check mark here, that's transitions. And then you have filters. With filters, you basically could change the effect and the color of your image. So this is just simple. This is probably what you've seen before on social media platforms. You could just go ahead and apply them this way. And I recommend you try some of those and press check mark when you're happy with the filter that you chose. And then you also have stickers and text, okay? That's kind of what your graphic section is gonna be. So you could add stickers on top. So this is a whole sticker section. So if I wanted to add, let's say this one, I could go ahead and place that anywhere on my canvas. Let me stretch it out this way, press the check mark. So that's how you would add those and see the animation for it, pretty cool. And you could see it created a new layer here with that there, I'm gonna press the check mark. And then you also have text, just typical text that you could type. This is just text, you could type that here. And then you have a bunch of options for changing the style of that text. Press done, resize, put it wherever you want, press check. And with that, you could always, let me go back to text, you could change where that shows up, right? I could grab that text and put it somewhere else within my video. So it shows up over here, just over this shot, right? And I could just select it here if I wanted to delete it and the text is gone. So tell your story with text, add filters and transitions. There's other more advanced things like you have picture in picture where you put a video in a video, you could change speed if you wanted to. But right now, let's focus on adding music and working with audio, okay? So you can see some of the other options as well. Right now, I wanna add audio, so I'm gonna go to volume right here. So if I wanted to extract an audio from the existing video, I could go ahead and extract audio here so I could delete it, for example, or change the volume of it. I'm gonna delete it because I don't want this to have any sound, because I wanna add music here. And then you could see it showed up some other options. Track, I'm gonna go to track here, and I could give it access to music or don't allow music. But this way I could bring in anything from my iTunes library, all right? And it has some pre-existing songs here that I could choose. And let me go ahead and choose this one. And let's go ahead and choose this one here and download. 
and use it in my music. Again, go ahead and change the volume. Basically the volume, you wanna make sure the sound, the volume for the sound takes over and you could fade the song in and out too. So fade out, fade in, check mark, that's all set. Make sure you select your original video if you wanna reduce the audio from it. Make sure you go ahead and turn off the volume to all the different clips if the music needs to be the primary song or sound here. And you could always press record if you wanted to add voiceover to it as well after the fact. That's a really useful option as well. Okay, I'm gonna press the check mark. And finally, after you add music and you're happy with your edit, what you could do is press this upload arrow to export. Exporting basically gets this ready to be posted somewhere else. It shows you the size and it shows you the resolution and frame rate. Now, all these could be changed. So if you wanted to go to 4K, if you had 4K video, or you wanna do this at 24, it basically selects whatever this was shot in. So typically for YouTube, I do 24 frames, cinematic mode, 4K, these two are my settings and you could change this to MP4. That's the most commonly used version of videos online and then press save. And then it's gonna take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the size of your video. It's gonna go ahead and export it here and it's gonna save it to your phone. If you have an Android, it's gonna save it to gallery. Here it's gonna save it to my photos library. Once this is done, it's gonna give you a little preview so you could watch your entire video over here. And then when you're happy with it, you could go ahead and share it to other platforms. So Instagram, YouTube, wherever you wanna go, or right now it's saved to my camera library, to my album, so I don't need to do anything. Anytime you could go back to the homepage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a draft. I'm gonna go back to the homepage and I could always work with this project again. It's gonna show up over here. This is it. I could always click it and go back to it and make additional edit in the future. And that's your crash course in editing videos right on your phone using InShot Video Editor. I hope you found this useful. I post these type of videos on this channel every single week and I'll see you next time.